we're here in the Scottish Parliament today as part of the Parliament project and it's about encouraging women, all ages, all walks of life, to realise that we need them in Scottish politics. We need them in UK politics, European politics, world politics in fact. We need full representation, so we need to have our 50-50. Women are very passionate about things that happen in the community and things that happen in general, and I think it's really important to have that voice heard and to let them shape the way things happen. Currently, not a lot of women are represented in elected politics and people are making decisions about our lives without really any lived experience or ability to consult with women and more so as a woman of colour and a trans woman there are literally no women like me in elected politics. It's very important that mayor that people for all walks of life are represented because we've been coming to the Parliament since 1999 telling other MSPs what we need and asking for the same things where if we were in the position ourselves we know what we need, we know what we need to change for to make things better for the rest of future generations to come. I feel like I'm fighting enough in my day-to-day -day life that it's time to take that fight further. And I'm here because women need to stand and I want to stand. It's just been a day where we had like, what felt like all of Scotland's women. Women that represented practically every possible type of woman that you could imagine in the parliament, in the chamber, singing, dancing, laughing, basically exploring how to claim voice and take power. I want to get involved in politics fully to try and help the people where I live. So I came along here today to try and see if I could get any information and advice on how to take things further. Um, the ball's already rolling for me to stand for Holyrood. Today I was sitting on the panel this morning along with other women elected into politics and we were discussing the barriers and how we can help encourage more women to come into politics. Globally women are 27 times more likely to be harassed online than men and as we're seeing a move to e-democracy we're also seeing many women, particularly young girls, say that they don't want to enter a career in politics or public life because of the fear of abuse. It's really important that we discuss play a zero tolerance to abuse and harassment because that's not democracy. The workshop only had a small number of participants, but we had a valuable discussion. We had two participants who were already involved in politics, one who is a deaf counsellor and another who is a deaf MSYP, a member of the Scottish Youth Parliament. It was important to have them both involved, to share their experiences as they both come from different backgrounds and it's important to raise their profile. It was a good discussion in a workshop because we never had that political kind of uh, workshop before. It was nice to give your views as well and writing down with an all mixed community integration. It's been really uplifting to see so many women together for the one purpose. It was more than we could have anticipated. It's been a day full of energy, full of joy, full of sisterhood. And I have just loved every single second. I've got aching cheeks from smiling all day long. It all reconfirms the importance of getting women into a space that they don't really believe is for them. Um, they've not been allowed to believe this for them. And it just changes the atmosphere of the building, the energy as you come in. When you see a lot of women gathering in the event and the parliament sitting, showing that they are interested in politics, actually. I think Scotland is way ahead. I think women are angry. I think women want to get into that space. I think we've blown all the myths in the world around women not being um, interested in politics or capable of stepping into those spaces. The time is now. Do not wait until you know all of the policies or have all of the information or until you feel 100% confident. Nobody ever feels that. Don't think you're too young. Don't think you're too old. Go for it. If I can do it, anybody can. Everybody for every walk of life has something different to contribute. Just open the door and grab the opportunity out there. Don't underestimate yourself. Seek out spaces that already exist and corrupt them with your feminism. I want equalities right across politics. I want politics at any level 
to reflect the society that's represented. My hope for the future is that all the women that were in that room stand for election because we had like 400 people there. We had 400 women and if they all go and stand for election, we will transform the face of Scottish politics. That's what I want. That's what the Parliament project is for. We will not stop until we have at least 51% female politicians in all levels of government. This event is really helpful and gives me more confidence to feel like I can do things. Seek out and demand your right to be elected. See it as your right rather than just your ability. Just turning on the phone, turning on the news in the morning, it can make you scream. So it's time to scream and scream into not a void, but into purpose and to participate to make the change that we desperately need.